Well, good morning. We're not up to much today, but we are having a barbecue. So meeting some of uh, Rhiannon's friends, which would be lovely, and Lily's friends. Um, I'm in a bit of a uh, this morning, trying to grab my ego back into my hula hoop because before I came away, I contacted the lovely listening bank HSBC and said, I'm going away. I need to let you know. And they went, you don't need to let us know. It's fine. We'll monitor you and message you if there's any problem. And I'm like, I think I do need to let you know because you left me in Malaysia with no card to use, high and dry and no way of contacting you. No, no, no. You need this global credit card or the global money card, which is brilliant. I have to say, I do really, really like it. Anyway, this morning I got an alert from the bank saying that there was a, a unusual activity on my card. Well, it was actually for no dollars, but I didn't recognise it. And it's on my normal card. So I said, no, I didn't recognise it. So of course, this is going to block my card. Okay, I get that. I understand that. But why block my global money card as well? I can't use either of them. So once again, HSBC, thank you. You've left me in a foreign country with absolutely no access to my money and to talk into a stupid bot that can't put me through for the fraud team. And I've got to ring the fraud team from here, but I can't because there's a spend cap on my phone. I've asked if the chat team can please ask the fraud team to ring me out here in Australia. Oh, no, they can't do that because they're from the chat department and not the fraud department. Oh my goodness. Really? Really? I have been close to tears this morning. I'm taking a breath. I'm grabbing my ego, putting it back in my hula hoop. I've just messaged my brother to ask them, ask him if he can ring them, to ask them to ring me. Bloody hell. I'm no further forward with the bank than I was three hours ago. I think because their fraud line is open from 8am to 8pm. That's helpful, isn't it? So there's nothing I can do until 7pm my time and try again now. I just, I wanted to pay for um, our Airbnb next week because we're heading up to Queensland, but um, Julia's paid for it for now and I tried to transfer the money but I can't with my bank make international transfers and so I've just been to the cash deal the ATM to try and get some money out for her um, but apparently my pin is incorrect it's not I tried it twice and then I grabbed my card back quickly before the machine grabbed that oh, I have had a I hate HSBC and said the F word several times out very loud moment and then I've grabbed my my ego back in <laughs> dragging and screaming to my hula hoop it's now nailed down to the floor there's nothing I can do tantrums and tears aren't going to change it although I've been close um but yeah just another shit situation of the bank has put me in again an update on the day we had a lovely barbecue met some lovely people just had an hour and 10 minutes of online chat with hsbc there is a fraudulent activity on my bank account 
from Jetfrog, which is a thing in Australia at the moment. Um, they're testing no dollars and then seeing if they can take multiple payments out. Now, the only time I've used my card from at home is with when I was in Dr. Sheng's massage um, in Melbourne. So obviously it's been taken or lifted from there, my card details. I didn't mean to use it, I accidentally did on my phone. Um, so yeah, I had an hour and 10 minutes call. They were gonna cancel my card. They are reckoning that my Global Money card has not been blocked. It just seems like I cannot use it for payments online or for cash out to cash till since this happened. So it'll be interesting to see tomorrow if I can use it just touch and go um we shall see but they've now put a temporary block on my normal hsbc card which means i can get money out of the cash till hopefully and i can use my chip and pin but I can't make any payments online so it's going to be a bit of a problem when it comes to booking flights in a month or so's time to get home so the only thing I can do then is once um, I've got my money out that I need and got things sorted is cancel the card completely and then they can send a card to my next address in America. Well, after trying to contact them all day, trying to get somebody to contact me and nothing happening, having an hour and 10 minute conversation on chat that, and it finishing with beware, they could try to scam you again, don't give this out, don't give that out. Within two minutes of ending that chat, my phone rang and it was the HSBC fraud team. So he says, wanting to know my postcode, my full name and my date of birth. And I said to him, look, I'm really sorry, but I'm really reluctant to give you this. He said, well, I'll send you a text. So he sent me a text saying, you can ring us. And I said, well, I've been trying to ring you all day and I can't ring you. Um, anyway, this bloke got really, really stroppy. So if he was from HSBC, his customer care was crap, especially to someone who's had a really stressful day without any money in another country. But um, yeah, so I said to him, well, look, if you are ringing from HSBC, then why don't you tell me the agreement that I've just had with the person on the chat? And he went, oh, I can't see that. Oh, well, that's fine. You ring us if you decide you want to and hung up on me. So, do you know what? I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. I've had enough of today. Ta-da. See you on the flip side.